March 27th, 2009. Lesson number six, the financial crisis. Thank you again for tuning in. and I hope that uh, you've watched the uh, first uh, five lessons. I'd like to start off lesson number six, you know. We've talked about uh, credit, we've talked about greed, we've talked about the tortoise and the hare, we've talked about human nature, we've talked about many things. I mean, there's many of you out there that would like me to delve and talk about the uh, credit markets and macroeconomics and supply and demand and get into microeconomics and get into the details of the credit crisis and the collapse of the financial institutions, the monetary supply, GDP, deficit, debt, and what led to all this and where we're at today. And I will be doing that in future lessons. I'll be getting much more specific. But the problem is, before we do that, we have to talk about certain elements and foundations and simplistic things before we can delve into those areas and understand those things. You see, the human being and what the human being has done to lead to this financial crisis is at the heart of the matter. And as such, I have to lay the foundation for you as to why we are where we are before we delve into the other economic issues, which are totally related, but harder to understand, but much easier to understand if we talk about the simplicity of the human being first. The things that we all understand, but sometimes are beneath our conscious level because they're so simplistic and so real that we forget about them. So I'd like to continue on and talk about the combined things that I've mentioned in the first five lessons. You see, when you look at what people have done over the last 10, 20, 30 years, individually, but then individually as kind of a group. You see, what's happened is people have become greedy. They've tried to always buy low and sell high. They've let other people make decisions with their monies, with their properties, with their investments. And look where it's got us. You see, in the scenario that I used with the tortoise and the hare, where we have the wise little turtle, and we have the arrogant cocky hare, 
it's quite obvious that most people, not all, but most people have become like the hare, arrogant, and cocky. And not only that, but when you combine the greed that they've had in order to try and accumulate as much for themselves at the expense of others and when you have hundreds if not thousands if not millions and certainly in some cases if not billions of people doing that you start to end up with the world a society a country states and municipalities and cities and towns where everybody is looking out for themselves trying to get the best deal for themselves at all costs to other people now certainly if we take something very simplistic if you're going out to, to sell something that you have and you might be selling it at a garage sale or you might be just selling it in the paper or you might even be on eBay selling it if we use that as a simplistic example what we have is a situation where everybody is trying mostly everybody is trying to get the highest price for what they have you might be selling a pencil you might be selling a lawnmower you might be selling a pair of sneakers or an old television or an old toy but you're trying to get the highest price you can I'm not going to talk about the futures markets and I'm not going to talk about selling short and all these types of terms that a lot of people may not understand but suffice it to say you're trying to get the most value the highest price for what you're selling and in a way that's good but when everybody's doing it and everybody's trying to get the most they're trying to get the highest salary they can the highest pension plan the highest benefits the highest price for what they're selling and that combines and you have millions if not billions of people doing that you can see what's happening the foundation of society and of the country is not really based on anything solid based on greed and the most you can get for something at any given time I don't know it's something to ponder and think about when you have billions of people doing the same thing we'll continue on with lesson number seven stay tuned